My grandparents don't approve of my relationship with my black boyfriend, and don't want me, 24 female, to marry him, 26 male. I don't know what to do, since I don't want to lose either of these people, my boyfriend and my grandparents. What do you do when you find out that someone you love more than anything in the world actually has some bad qualities? I was orphaned at 8, and my paternal grandparents took me in. They've raised me with the utmost love and care anyone could ask for, and I'm not lying when I say that they'd readily die for me, but most parents slash grandparents are like that so you all know what I'm talking about. I've always looked up to them, and they've always set the very best examples for me, I've never ever seen either of them be unkind to a single soul, and they've always taught me to be that way too. Recently though, I received the shock of my life when I saw their reaction to seeing my boyfriend, let's call him Sam, for the first time, who happens to be black. I've never pegged them for racist people, and it was honestly unexpected. They tried to hide it but I could see it on their faces, that they didn't approve. Since then they've just never liked the guy and have always been like really nitpicky about him, criticizing him about the smallest of things, always judging every single thing he says and does very harshly etc. I've tried time and again to convince them that he's a really good guy, that he loves me and cares about me but to no avail. Well, he proposed to me, and it was the happiest moment of my life. When I told my grandparents though, it was clear they were upset. This time, unlike before, they didn't make excuses about why they didn't like him and just straight up confessed to having a problem with his race. At first I was incredibly pissed off, but I tried to reason with them and get to the bottom of why they felt this way. They think all black people are really similar to the way they're portrayed in racist stereotypes. This is all despite the fact that he's nothing like the racist stereotypes portray black people. He's a college-educated, well-dressed, well-spoken man with a good job and a decent salary. This doesn't sway them. Another thing that really confuses me is my mom, who was Asian. They were apparently not only okay with their son marrying an Asian woman, they loved her like she was their own daughter. They're also really good friends with my maternal grandparents, who are from Korea slash Singapore. When my maternal grandparents found out, they weren't too happy either, and they were actually much more direct about it compared to my paternal grandparents. I honestly don't know what to do. My boyfriend has always sort of known that my grandparents didn't really like him, but he doesn't suspect that it's because of his race. My friends have all unanimously sided against my grandparents and said stuff like they don't get to dictate what you do with your life, tell them to either accept it or you'll cut them off permanently, just cut them off their toxic people etc. While my grandparents are definitely in the wrong about all this, I can't even begin to fathom cutting them out of my life. They gave everything they had and more to raise me and give me the best life they could. They're the reason I am who I am today, they were always there for me, took care of my every need and always put me above themselves. How can I just abandon them like this? After everything they've done for me? On the other hand I can't imagine losing Sam either. What do I do? P.S. I gave my maternal grandparents an earful, and told them straight up that they had no right to say the kind of stuff they said about Sam, and that it was extremely rude. They tried to say stuff like we only want what's best for you etc., but I shut that shoot down, and told them I won't speak to them again unless they treat him with respect. Update. Hey guys, thanks for all your responses on my previous post. It was all really good advice, but the very best out of it all was the suggestion that I come clean to Sam. I did that, and he reacted in a surprisingly calm manner. I asked him how he's taking it so well, and he told me he's experienced something similar before. His cousin had come out as gay a few years back, and he told me how his own grandparents reacted very poorly to his cousin's revelation. He told me they absolutely refused to acknowledge the fact that he was gay and said some pretty hurtful stuff along the lines of how his homosexuality would embarrass them in front of all their family and friends etc. They wouldn't allow the cousin to bring his boyfriend to family gatherings, and threatened to cut him out out of their inheritance unless he got his head straight. He then showed me pictures of his grandparents laughing along with his cousin's husband, pictures of them at his cousin's wedding etc. He told me they eventually grew out of it, and as they go to know him they really bonded with the guy. Sam joked that he wouldn't give my grandparents a choice and that within a month they'd be in love with him. Well I think it's working. Sam and I have dinner at my grandparents' house every night, and each night I notice them more and more at ease and more avidly taking part in our conversations. Sam and my grandpa are both World War II enthusiasts, 
and my grandpa absolutely loves having discussions on the subject with Sam. I decided to update this post because last night something very special happened. I got there before Sam, and I could see the disappointment on their faces when they thought I had come alone. They asked where Sam was, when he was coming etc. Then they said we wouldn't start eating until he arrived. I'm just so incredibly happy that I get to keep both relationships.